Hey Pisces, welcome to your general love read. This is for October 19th through the 26th. However, time is fluid. That's just an intention, okay? So whenever this comes to you, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you, all right? Um, all of the links you may need are down in the description box. <laughs> Bless you, Oscar. Everything from uh, donations, personal readings, the extended program, decks, okay? All of that is down below. So if you're new here, welcome. Thank you all for helping me get beyond 600. The 500s were like the tarot fives. Like it was like the never ending 500s. Now we're on the other side. We're on the 600s heading towards the thousand. Oh, my ear is ringing. Heading towards the thousand subscribers. So thank you. Okay. I am going to start out the reading by pulling for the collective so that if we get into the reading and you're like, this is not my story, that you're still getting some guidance from the spirit, okay? Because we're going into the retrograde. You may not like the story that you're hearing. And you might say, this is not me, this is not mine, goodbye, okay? And if you do, that's all right, I get it. I get it, okay? But we're going into the, the things of death, okay? Scorpio is going to start out the retrograde. Libra is going to try to soften it all up a little bit. And then Scorpio is going to come back in and rebirth it all, okay? So let's see what we get. All right, for the collective, you get spring and purple chakra. So I do feel like there is a rebirth going on here, okay? Just like I was just talking about. And there's a big awareness that you have around all of this, all right? The channeled message on spring, I feel renewed and ready to open. I am abundant and open to new opportunities today. The possibilities are limitless, okay? Purple chakra, channeled message. Today you are open to intuition. You will see, feel, and know if you stop and listen to your knowing. Right now is the perfect time to boost your intuition so you can feel guided, inspired, and connected to your purpose. Okay, and that's a beautiful energy. I actually, um, I'm working in the shamanic apprenticeship and the next four, well, the last week of the next three weeks, we're really working on, you know, how do you determine what someone's sole purpose is, okay? So, finding your sole purpose is a beautiful energy. Intention here, you're kind of going with the flow. This is kind of like a, sort of like a six of swords sort of an energy. Um, you've got a little bit of that, you know, intuitive energy, a little bit of the heart chakra, a little bit of the throat chakra, just kind of going, okay, just kind of going and seeing where it's all leading you. Overall energy is the chariot, okay? This could be that you feel like time is pushing back, okay, against any sort of forward movement. Um, this could have to do with a friend. It could have to do, um, just with the awareness feeling slowed down. Perhaps that's why you're being guided into this intuitive energy. In the past, we've got the king of pentacles. Okay. So there could have been an energy where this person was, okay, can be you, can be them. The roles can be reversed here. Keep that in mind in a general. Um, where there could have been this, you know, overabundance, looking towards the stars, looking towards the things that you're wishing for. Okay, current energy is looking at a new beginning. Future energy here, okay, is an ending. Okay, and I, it looks like an ending with no possibility of reconciliation. Okay, four of swords with the six of wands in reverse. I feel like this is a coming to an end, walking away. Okay, sort of an energy. 
We are going to do clarification this week with the mystic and the wizards. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, clarifying the chariot here, okay? You could be getting held back right now, almost like because there's too many options and you're not being able to focus in one direction that you want to move forward. I do feel like they're, out of all the directions you're being pulled, there's really only a couple that you are really honed in on, okay? Wanting to work towards, wanting to look towards. But you are being pulled in a lot of directions. You're being guided by spirit to really focus in on whatever it is that's meant for you, okay? Whatever's helping you, grow you, um, giving you that creative outlet. Focus on that. That's where you're going to get the most benefit, the most movement forward and try to release the, you know, what's not serving you, um, that's blocking you from having that forward movement, okay? <laughs> Look at this, the whole thing almost came out, but right there in the middle, there's the 10 of cups, okay? So at the heart of this, King of Pentacles is love, okay? And I feel like this King of Pentacles, all right, in the past here, not listening to reason and um, perhaps, okay, under the deception here of the moon, um, nourishing, planting in more places than one. And there's this trying to come back into synergy, okay, trying to come back into some sort of alignment where the two of you are not seeing things so differently, okay? Okay, I do feel like the new beginning coming forward to you is coming forward through a truth, okay? Cutting through the BS, cutting through like this truth coming through that's gonna require a lot of strength where you feel like you're walking away from your happiness, but in truth, everything that you're going to be doing is actually walking you towards your happiness, okay? You are coming to the happiness because of the inner strength that you are going to bring in by dealing with, okay, this truth. Okay, future energy here, all right, which we can always switch up future energy. That's the brilliance of tarot is that if you don't like what's coming, change it, okay? Take the actions to change it. That's why spirit gives you the messages at the end, okay? But this ending is heartbreaking, okay? Heartbreaking and you know, having to deal with the fact that you still have love and perhaps somebody else doesn't or not in the way that you desire it, okay? But this is about the ending, happening when it's meant to happen, um, bringing you full circle so that you can have the movement forward that you are meant to have, okay? Whoa. Thank you. Okay, so working on yourself here, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like it's a distraction, okay? But again, like I said, 
it's a good thing that you're working on yourself. But I feel like the reason you're doing it is a distraction. With the Eight of Wands and the Devil in Reverse with the Moon, perhaps communication feels like things have changed, but it's a very deceptive energy, okay? That something has truly changed here. And I feel like, okay, bottom of the deck here, we've got the inner child of the Empress. I do feel like there's this feeling, okay, that you have in your gut, which is why you're just focusing on yourself because you kind of know what's coming with this heartbreak and that, that truth, okay? You feel it. You are probably empathic, intuitive, and you feel that coming, okay? Okay, this King of Pentacles is a higher level commitment with you, all right, and um, Seven of Pentacles, they could have been trying to plant the seed either for a new connection with you here in the past or um, a new connection elsewhere, and if they are doing it elsewhere, that's why you're working on yourself, okay? This person is being guarded against you. They're not opening up emotionally to offer you love. And so you're just working on you, working on that, um, that new beginning, that pentacle. Okay, I feel like the truth here coming out, okay? Ace of Swords, okay? Three of Pentacles here could very likely be a third party energy. Somebody was encouraging and wishing, okay, this cup to come forward. Dreamy thinking, oh, this is my wish, this is what I want, but at the same time, a betrayal, okay, heartbreak. There's that um, divine timing, okay? Hidden actions by this King of Pentacles. Here's the thing though, again, like I said, this happiness, okay? You don't recognize it, but this ending, okay, whatever cycle's ending here, this is about bringing you happiness, okay? We've got Queen of Wands, action forward, choosing a path for your heart, okay, which brings you, okay, that inner happiness that you're seeking and a whole new beginning. You go from the world to leaping forward, okay? It may not feel safe, but it sure feels happy, okay? It sure feels like a good thing. Okay, future energy here. Three of Swords. Yeah, you're going to be up in your head about all of this. But with the Nine of Swords, this is my not in my bed. You're going to be like done and done. And it's going to leave someone, okay, cleaning up their own mess. All right. Okay, I do feel like Okay, the um, Wheel of Fortune here, this person is going to try to come back around, but I don't know if you're going to take them because we've got the King of Wands here in reverse. Okay, so Queen of Wands saying, no, not this time. I'm taking action to move forward to find my own balance. 
to find what there is for me, okay? And I do feel like that bottom of the deck here, we have that full, okay? Bottom of the deck here, yes, it's going to be, you know, a little painful, but guess what? It brings you justice. Bottom of the deck here, it could actually open you up to love. And bottom of the deck here, we've got the renewal again, spring, okay? So I do feel like whoever this resonates for, this beginning is going to be completely brand new. If you are letting this person come back, they are not coming back in the way that they were before. Period. End of story. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you're going to let them come back. Page of Cups in reverse. Six of Pentacles. At least not right away. You're going to want them to prove that things can be balanced before you make that head over heart decision. Bottom of the deck, we do have that separation with the tower, okay? And waiting for things to come into balance before moving forward with any of it. So yeah, if they're gonna come back, you're gonna make them work for it. It's not going to be um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, all right? Yeah, you're going to just kind of take a moment, take a deep breath, find your center, find your balance, okay? This is going to be about you. I feel like this person wants to try to um, take things back to the way they were. I have a feeling that, again, that cannot happen, okay? That cannot happen now because you understand that in order to go forward, there does have to be that full rebirth, okay? And that's the energy that you get with this retrograde, okay? Yes, like I said, Libra can soften it, but the rebirth will come back around. It will have to happen. Okay, so I hope that this helps you, Pisces. I'm going to move into that extended and uh, see what's going on with the flip side energy. That link is down below. I hope to see you there. All right, bye.